everyone and welcome to IntelliPath. In this video, you will see the introduction to Amazon Cognito, why do we use the Amazon Cognito service, also we will learn about its features, Amazon Cognito user pool and its working briefly. Finally, we will see about the pricing and takeaways of this video. Let's take a look at our first agenda, that is what is Amazon Cognito. Now for a successful sign in to a web application, a valid username and password combination is normally required. More ways to ensure user authentication are included in modern authentication flows. This is no exception while using AWS, thanks to AWS Cognito's capabilities and functionalities. The Amazon Cognito service is intended to provide APIs and infrastructure for key user management features such as authentication, authorization and managing users' repositories with various operations from your web and mobile apps. It has two main components, user pool and identity pool. User pools provide sign up and sign in options for your app users. They act as user directories. Identity pools offer accesses to other AWS services like AWS S3 and AWS DynamoDB. Let's move on to our next agenda that is why use Amazon Cognito. Amazon Cognito makes it simple to add user sign up, sign in and access control to your web and mobile apps. It provides a complete solution for user authentication. Its main features are the storage of usernames and passwords, the management of sessions and the provision of forgotten password functionality. All you have to do is connect to its endpoints. That's pretty awesome, right? Let's say an app requires a secure user login. Instead of coding a UI page and integrating backend services to it, why not use a well-known service from a large company like AWS to manage our users and their credentials? Let's take a look at the features of AWS Cognito. So the first feature that we have here is secure passwords. AWS relieves you, the developer, of the responsibility of ensuring that your database is properly protected and passwords are securely stored. In fact, you don't even have access to the passwords of the users. This is excellent in terms of security. Cognito also stores passwords that comply with major compliance standards such as HIPPA. With this protected health information can be stored in Amazon Cognito. Next is OAuth, SAML and more. Amazon Cognito not only securely stores your data but also provides all of the functionality required for an OAuth integration. There is no need to write custom code to manage user sessions and Cognito authentication token. The Amazon Cognito APIs allow you to simply issue calls to Cognito to validate or obtain new tokens. It also handles password reset requests, account validation, and pretty much any other user maintenance operation you can think of. It allows you to validate not only emails, but also phone numbers using AWS SNS. Aside from OAuth, you can also integrate with other identity providers. Cognito allows you to easily add additional sign-in options from your users, from Facebook to Google and even SAML. Customizing all these integrations takes time and Cognito provides you with a consistent experience to present to your users. To get a better understanding of both of the terminologies, we suggest you go through the topic difference between SAML and OAuth. And next up, we have simple integration. The combination of Amazon Cognito and AWS API Gateway is a common use case. Setting up your API to validate against a Cognito pool takes no time at all. This validation occurs even before your API forwards the call to the next function, which helps to reduce the cost of having to validate sessions. This makes securing your endpoints a piece of cake. And lastly, we have quick startup. When you consider all of the features listed above, you will realize that you can quickly and easily set up authentication in your application. Simply configure your Cognito pool, connect to the APIs, and you're ready to go. This is extremely useful when prototyping an application or focusing on providing functionality in your application. It helps you in choosing to focus on what is important, the features that will provide unique value. Cognito's hosted UI is another feature. You simply enable the feature and a page for your users to log in becomes available. You now have a page that conforms to the most recent OAuth standards with minimal effort. The disadvantage of this approach is that the customizability and styling options for the page are rather limited. Now let's move on to our next agenda, that is Cognito user pool. In Amazon Cognito, a user pool is similar to a user directory. Your users can sign into your web or mobile app using it. Users can also sign in via social identity providers, such as Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, and SAML identity providers. User pool provides the following services, which are sign-in and sign-up services. 
customizable web UI to sign up users that is built in, social sign in with Facebook, Google, Amazon and Apple, as well as sign in with SAML identity providers, user directory and user profile management, multi-factor authentication that is MFA, checks for compromised credentials, account takeover protection, and phone and email verification for all security features, user migration and customized workflows, and through AWS Lambda triggers. Amazon Cognito generates JSON web tokens, that is JWT, after successfully authenticating a user, which you can use to secure and authorize access to your own APIs or exchange for AWS credentials. Token handling is provided by Amazon Cognito via the Amazon Cognito pools, that is user, identity SDKs for JavaScript, Android, and iOS. User pools and identity pools are the two main components of Amazon Cognito. Identity pools provide AWS credentials to a users and or provide other AWS services. You can configure an identity pool to exchange user pool tokens for AWS credentials to allow users in your user pool to access AWS resources. Let's now move on to our last agenda that is Amazon Cognito pricing. The pricing of Amazon AWS Cognito follows the pay-as-you-go concept. Just like many other AWS services, no minimum charges are levied. If you use Amazon Cognito Identity to create a user pool, you only pay for monthly active users. A user is considered an MAU if an identity operation involving that user occurs within a calendar month, such as sign-up, sign-in, token refresh, or password change. You're not charged for additional sessions or inactive users during that calendar month. Lastly, let's take a look at the conclusion. So the Amazon Cognito service is useful when an app developer does not have the time or resources to invest in building a login page UI and maintaining user credentials in a database. It also provides several features such as MFA, that is multi-factor authentication, OTPs, prompts, fingerprints, or security questions. Phone numbers can be validated too. You are provided with an SDK that is Amazon Cognito SDK where with only a few lines of code, you can set up a working user login page for your app. If your app already has a solution for user authentication, you can also migrate to Amazon Cognito with only a few steps. You can also prompt the users to sign up through Google, Facebook, Amazon and other identity providers also. With all these benefits, the cost of the first 50,000 MAFs, that is monthly active users, is free. And it can scale itself as the user pool expands for a minimum amount per user after the free tier limit. So this AWS service is very ideal for app developers with budget constraints and if they want their app to get going as soon as possible. And that's it for this video. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.